G'day guys, Crypto Jim here. Today I'm going to try to make the most simple video for you so that you can use Ether Delta and hopefully by the end of it you'll be able to put Ether Delta, uh, you'll be able to put Ethereum into your Ether Delta wallet. You'll be able to transfer that money into the Ether Delta smart contract and then you'll be able to buy a coin on the Ethereum smart contract or an Ethereum blockchain and then keep it on the exchange. That's all I'm going to teach you today. Um, so first things first, this is Ether Delta. I'll drop the link below, etherdelta.com. It's basically an exchange where you can buy altcoins that haven't hit the market of proper or real exchanges yet. This is a real exchange, but not the real big ones like Binance or Bittrex or BTC Markets, for, for example. Now, Ether Delta only deals with Ethereum um, blockchain tokens. So if you click here, these are all the tokens that you can buy. And to see which coins that you that you're interested in that you can actually buy on Ether Delta, we go to coinmarketcap.com. Again, the link is below. Um, the original page that shows up is the chart value. If we click markets, we can see here it's available on a hit BTC, Yobit, Ether Delta, um, and the price for each coin on each exchange is different as well. First things first on Ether Delta, we need to set up an account. So what we do so we go to the sidebar here and click new account. Now I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do any of the transactions because Ether Delta I find is the slowest and shittest exchange out there. Um, but it is an exchange where you can buy those coins that are super low market cap and haven't actually hit the mainstream. And these these are the coins that are going to you know give you the 10x or the times 100 um, in the coming months. So this this is basically the reason for this video. But if we click new account. Um, two things are going to pop up. There's going to be a screen pop up here and that screen is going to have um, your new wallet address and your new private key. Now I cannot stress this enough, you have to save those either onto your computer into like a Word document or on paper um, somewhere in your house because if you say put Ethereum onto your Ether Delta wallet and then close the, or close the tab and you haven't saved your private keys and your account address then you're not going to get it back and it'll be on the exchange forever basically. So I cannot stress that enough, save those two that pop up in the next window there. Now once we've done that, we need to select the coin we want and then basically this screen will pop up. And what we've got here, we've got the price chart, the order book, um, the depth, this is your little buy and sell area, you've got your transactions, um, don't really need to worry too much about it, um, but basically if we just use this bar up here, um, we'll be fine. So, uh, what am I on there? Deposit. So, in your balance bar, um, what we need to do, sorry, what we need to do first is you won't have this number here or this number here because your account will be empty. So, we need to deposit Ethereum into this address. Um, so, I found the easiest way because you can't actually copy and paste this is go to EtherScan address, click that, and it will open up this page, uh, basically the public blockchain and you can copy and paste that address which, will, which should be different to this one but it will be your address and you can copy and paste that, put it into say your Binance account and deposit Ethereum from your Binance account into this account which you can see is exactly what I did earlier three minutes ago um, that went through 0.69 Ether into this account which you can see shows up there. So once your Ethereum is in your wallet um, we've, we've kind of got to look at it as so this area down here is your Ethereum part of the wallet and this area up here is your SNC or whatever coin that you've selected up here is part of the wallet. Um, depositing will drag it from here into here. So if I wanted to put my 0 .0, uh, 0 0.691 Ethereum into there, um, I would go deposit, type in the number and then click deposit. Of course, you've got to remember that Ethereum transactions cost Ether, so some of that will be burnt in the transaction, so you might have to go a little bit less, so say 0.68, and that'll send that into this Ether Delta account. And again, remember, this is an Ethereum smart contract, so it will take time for it to get from here into here once you click that, because an actual um, uh, Ether scan transaction ID will come up, you can follow the transaction on the public blockchain. Sorry for all the confusing words. Um, 
But yep, so once your money is in there or your Ethereum is in there, then we can use this um, to buy and sell. And basically, it, it's as simple as this. You want to buy that for that price. At, so you want to buy 30 units of SNC at that price for this many Ethereum. Then all we need to do is click it and click buy and the order should go through. Um, again, it does take time. And I'm pretty much going to leave it at that, guys. Um, if I was to do this myself right now, this video would be 20 minutes long. Um, but basically, I'm just trying to do a, a super simple video for you. I'm hoping to do a super simple video for you. Once you've bought it as well, guys, it'll end up coming up in here. So you'll lose money from your Ethereum account on Ether Delta, and the 30 SNC will be deposited there. From there, we can click withdraw, and we can go say 30 and click withdraw it'll take the 30 from there and put it into here now once it's in your wallet you can go to the transfer page and you can send your 30 SNC to any address that you want for SNC it has to be say your Ethereum address but say um, say we've taken this money out put it in there we can type in however much we want out of here type in say our Exodus address or our Binance address or our Bitrix address, click transfer, that'll bring up another transaction ID and then that will get sent to there as long as the Ethereum blockchain takes. Um, so I hope this was a bit educational guys, um, trying trying to be as simple and as fast as I can. Um, leave some comments and um, subscriptions below. Thanks for watching guys, cheers.